Welcome, my name is Natasha Sherman and I am your host. The show today is with intuitive healer, Joseph Pinter. Some time back, I interviewed Joseph here in the studio, but it occurred to me it would be much more informative if we went to his office and watched him work with someone and to see how he works. So this show takes place in his office and it's very easy to be dismissive about something called intuitive healing, but more and more people are indeed turning to alternative medicine and healing as another avenue to explore. Not necessarily instead of traditional medicine, but something to work with along with traditional medicine. Personally, I have done both for decades and attribute my well-being to having done that. I've worked with Joseph for a number of years and also attribute my level of well-being to some of the work that we have done together. So I invite you to watch today with an open mind. Okay, today uh, we will um, make uh, some analysis. Uh, your name is Alia? Yes. Okay. So I will measure first your energy. So energy is about uh, how, how much energy units we have. If you have, let's say, today, People, uh, let's say, would, would have about 25,000, average person would have 25,000 energy units. It's called also Bovis units. So, um, and we are born with a certain level of okay. those Bovis units. Every person is born mm -hmm. uh, uh, this way. So, I will measure first your energy that you have right now, and then the next number will be w uh, what was the energy that you were born with. Oh, okay. So, um, so I'm working with a pendulum, as you see, and this is just a tool. Mm -hmm. Only my energy, my energy actually uh, reading your energy. That's how it works. Okay. It it uh, it's nothing, you know, extraordinary. Only this is very, uh, you know, person who can do that has to be trained, or probably certain percentage of people are born with this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see. So the first number, this will be the number of your Bowie's units is today, this is at this moment, is 9,000. So I will write it down uh, on your, on the piece of paper when, where I will write down all the information that we will talk about okay. today. So this is 9,000 Bowie's units or energy units. So, as I said, we need to know what would be your optimal level that you were born with. Okay. And your optimal level is 20,000. So, about half, 50% energy you have today, what you, you were born with, and that would be your optimal energy. That is the lowest energy. Which chakra is the lowest? Okay. So, your lowest energy is in your root chakra. I will also check if there are other chakras that they are um, maybe also low. So, uh, second chakra and solar plexus, they are pretty good, about 90%. Heart chakra is also 90%. Throat chakra, were also 90 So, I believe that all those chakras, crown chakra, third eye, those other out of seven chakras are pretty much uh, okay. okay. I will tell you uh, how is your pH balance. pH balance is about alkaline uh, and acidity, right. acidity and alkalinity. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes, you know, our physical bodies, they have uh, trouble exactly because of this balance mm -hmm. today. And... Uh, I think maybe that's why your root chakra is low. Mm. Your your pH balance right now, this is at this moment, mm -hmm. is 6.0. So it is a little bit acidic. Uh -huh. okay. pH balance is the most connected to what we eat. Mm -hmm. right. So I will tell you what type of food is the, the most beneficial for you, which one is neutral, mm -hmm. and which one is bad. First category is dairy. Mm -hmm. So dairy is 
very bad. Mm -hmm. Der dairy affects your physical body mm -hmm. 90% ne in a negative way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. very good. So, I am lactose intolerant, so okay. yeah. yeah okay. That's I will also check if eggs are good for you, but mm -hmm. eggs are not. Not, yeah, that no. I knew, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The whole egg, um, even egg whites. Hmm. Mm. So, egg whites are not okay. uh, are in the they are in the same category. Right. Okay. So another category is meat. Mm. Uh, we we are talking about. Do you eat meat? Are you mm, white meat mostly? Okay. I don't eat red meat. Okay. Yeah. Actually, you can have meat. So um, let's say turkey, beef, lamb. This is. This is all good. Mm. Po even pork. You can have pork. You can have fish. You can have shellfish. You can have shrimp. Um, so if if you eat just meat without preservatives, that mm. that is okay. You are very sensitive about uh, everything what is fried. Oh. Yeah, it's 90%. Oh. Next category would be fruits and vegetables. So first let's go with about fruits. Different types of fruit because I believe that you are sensitive um, on citric acid. Other uh, fruits you would be okay. Uh, berries, berries don't have except maybe strawberries. No good. Strawberries, they have more citric acid. Uh, oh, okay. But blueberries, raspberries, uh, cranberries, that's okay. Okay. So let's see vegetables. Um, vegetables in general are very good for you. I think we can, we can go through the whole list, but I don't think that you would uh, be, you know, would be any, any negative uh, effect from vegetables. They, they said that Food can be also medicine. Right. Garlic is definitely your medicine. Oh. I can check mm. if you are sensitive about metals. Oh, okay. And you are. Oh. Next category is like a frozen food. Um, so this is ice cream, frozen yogurt or sherbet, which when it, that's not good, but you can probably have it, something that it's not uh, non-dairy. Non okay. Okay. You don't have probably high blood pressure. You have normal, normal, yeah, yeah. normal blood pressure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you like uh, spicy foods? Yes. Okay, yeah. you can have them. N um, you can have nuts. You can have beverages like, uh, like soft drinks. That would be bad for you. Yeah, I don't even like yeah. soft drinks. And not just because of the sugar and other chemicals, but also about carbonation. Uh -huh. oh. So, carbonation is something that affects, some people don't even know, mm -hmm. but it affects the stomach and can lower down like hydrochloric acid. This is about the food. We can, we can now um, go further to vitamins and minerals. Mm -hmm. I don't think that you know people should take a lot of vitamins and a lot of minerals. Mm -hmm. I uh, I noticed that uh, we have two or three essential vitamins, mm -hmm. and if we take those, those vitamins are, you know, very beneficial. So okay. uh, um, you would probably have like a more energy if you take the right combination of the vitamins. So oh, those okay. essential vitamins. Right. Choline. In, Choline and inositol, they, they are a little bit less known. Okay. But they are also very important for you. Oh, okay. Anybody in your family had gallbladder issues? Yes, my mother did. See, yeah. inositol and choline, they are very good for gallbladder oh. functioning. Okay. Actually create the bile the bile become if we if you take those two vitamins, the bile become more fluid. Okay. It creates fluid bile instead of sometimes it become very thick. This is this is basically um, everything what I can 
I can tell you about. <laughs> All right. Um, so next um, thing that we can do is to charge your energy. Okay. <laughs> And uh, and I hope that you then you will increase your energy from nine thousand to twenty thousand bovis units. That'd be nice. And so <laughs> I will I will show you this in okay. a couple of minutes. Okay. So we we were talking before about your energy. So your bovis units were nine thousand, and you should have you were born with twenty thousand. And let's hope that this energy will go up to twenty thousand. So here is a device. It's called energy board i created this device first for myself that because i want to have high energy also mm -hmm. <laughs> very simple just tap on the board and uh, and so this this board created the energy and increases the energy you can probably feel some energy i don't know if you can describe anything right now right just now? standing here oh. it is Probably after a minute or two, not necessary that you will feel immediately. I do feel some kind of a tingly sensation in, in my okay. feet. It feels as if it's sort of going up. Mm -hmm. Tingly mm -hmm. sensation. So this means that your energy slowly, slowly increases in this in the root chakra. Oh, okay. And your root chakra, we said before, it was low. It was only 20%. So I will help now. I will help a little bit to increase this energy the way how uh you know how i feel because i feel your energy oh okay where this energy is moving so what i'm doing now i'm just directing through uh, 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 certain trigger points i'm di directing the energy no, nothing else so these are like a acupuncture uh, acupuncture acupressure points mm -hmm. and uh, this way uh, if if you feel like maybe some some points could be a little bit sensitive like, like this, this right here yes. is tender yeah yes yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah right here right here yeah yeah so those points they don't uh, allow the uh, energy to flow through mm. when they are tender okay. so if you press them this way you help the energy to move through uh, those points and we know that in Chinese medicine that these points are part of the energy meridians. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's already a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can you tell can feel it. it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, this one is not as as tight. Maybe it's a little bit still sensitive. Mm -hmm. But not. Yeah, not, not as bad not as, as this bad one. Not as bad as that one. Yeah. All right. So all these, all these meridians go uh, in, uh, into the fingers. Mm -hmm. You know, our, our fingers are connected to uh, those vital meridians, right. which, is, which is very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. So I will, I will just ask you now that you put your arm like this. This is very relaxing uh, uh, way how to how to relax all these muscles uh, around the neck and around the shoulder. Okay. So when I push here through, mm -hmm. you take a deep breath okay. and exhale. Okay, very good. Yeah, one more time. Okay. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. This is. Yeah, I think it's. That felt it good. Is, yes. It. It uh, the the energy moves uh, immediately through these meridians. Mm -hmm. uh, also now on this side, which you have a little bit tight. Also, I think okay. this is. Do you feel sometimes the shoulder even more uh, kind of uh, tight? Yeah, it depends. Like if I'm working a lot with computer, mm -hmm, right, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Right. So let's do this one okay. also the same way. You okay. take a deep breath and exhale. Okay. One more time. And one more time. OK. 
Okay, now you can just relax. Yeah, this is, do you feel this is uh, more sensitive right here mm -hmm. than on the left side? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, this oh, is, yeah. this is, yeah. I would say this is more chronic mm -hmm. on your right side. Have, have you ever had a really pain here, right here? Did, have you ever felt pain on your right side the, the and right shoulder? Yeah, because Maybe, this is, yeah. It's definitely tighter. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think back. Like I had Lyme's disease, so I was in pain all the time. Oh, okay. So that was a few years so, ago. Oh, yeah. so that was very painful. But now you you are much I'm better. free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you have a, a strong uh, um, antibiotics? I, yeah, I took the antibiotics, but yeah. uh, that didn't help me. That's no. that's why I tried the energy healing. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So it was not very uh, beneficial or very successful after mm -hmm. the... Yeah, you still had a lot of symptoms. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So after, after that, uh, probably... Mm -hmm. uh, probiotics and things like that probably what was very helpful mm -hmm. when you took probiotics after that. Yeah, yeah. I had to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I would just leave a little bit like that you just stand here mm -hmm. and just describe what you, what do you feel. So, first thing I'm feeling cold my right foot is getting cold okay. but left foot is fine it's normal and again i feel as if that cold coldness is coming yes. up on my right leg mm -hmm. but it just kind of stops here mm -hmm. and the rest of the body feels more even now more, more yeah. balanced yeah okay. so i don't know if it is my the way i'm standing my posture or what i don't know but i do feel colder, colder on, the right, on the right side yeah so Feeling cold means that the body discharged something, that the energy is discharged, actually. Uh -huh. that, and I believe that when you will sit down mm -hmm. later, when we will be done, we'll be done probably in, a, in about a minute. Okay. We are, uh, actually, we are, we are done here. Okay. Um, you will feel maybe a little bit... Um, like a little bit chills. Okay. Some people would describe mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. but this means that when we uh, receive the energy, we also discharge something what is not necessary. You right. know, we are receiving, but at the same time, the energy is also discharged, mm -hmm. and uh, um, this way, this way, the all, you know, let's say physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual levels. The, uh, this actually creates a natural balance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, do you, do you feel your hands also a, a little bit um, uh, like a tingling or something in your hands? Yeah. They are yeah, they're cold. cold. Yeah. yeah. Both both hands yeah. are cold. Yeah. Yeah. So you have um, uh, some kind of reaction of discharge also through your hands. Okay. Do you feel still the right side a little it's bit? It's still, yeah, it's still yeah, cold, still yeah. Okay. So but now it's getting more balanced. Uh -huh. Now even the leg. Okay, you can, you can tell that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is more, this is now more relaxed. Mm -hmm. And I hope that this right shoulder will slowly also become more relaxed because this is some kind of chronic this is definitely mm. more chronic uh, condition okay yeah. you know you cannot uh, balance the chronic condition the mm -hmm. way uh, like just in uh, five minutes right. or something like that sure. has to be let's say maybe four or five times to to balance okay the mm -hmm. very interesting mm -hmm. um i would say f fact or interesting uh, uh, part of this is that gallbladder when, when we were talking before mm -hmm. is dominant on the right side oh. and usually with people who have with the weaker gallbladder people would have mm -hmm. a little bit discomfort in the left on the left side on the left shoulder 
Oh, but in my case, it's the right side. Oh, uh, sorry. Ah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's so what you would have the right shoulder, not the left. Oh, okay. <laughs> got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it is the right shoulder that is connected to the gallbladder Perfect. meridian. Okay, wow. This, hmm. this shoulder. Wow, that's very interesting. So it's... Yes. Hmm. So, um, I, I think probably you said that you're in your family, uh, your mother had this issue. Probably Gardner, if you yeah. would, maybe if you would eat something that would more, more affect your gallbladder, mm -hmm. probably you would get this very similar issue. But mm -hmm. uh, I mean, physically, something would be wrong with your gall gallbladder. But if, if you kept your yourself from a certain type of food that doesn't affect your gallbladder, mm -hmm. which is which would be dairy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So this means that uh, you may be prevented mm -hmm. this to happen but okay. still there is a weakness on, right. your, on your right side yeah i can understand because you know we work a lot mm -hmm. with computers and i'm right-handed mm -hmm. so I, I use this hand a lot okay. so, and you know being like this all the time okay. so that could be mm -hmm. so yeah okay, okay. So, so i step can, down yeah, you can step down okay. and let's measure your energy after this okay. so mm -hmm. let's see yeah, we said that you were born with 20,000 Bowie's units. Mm -hmm. Now, your energy is 80,000. Wow, okay. So, you huh. have higher Bowie's units and, you know, like I said before, your crown, uh, I mean, your chakras were okay, except your root chakra was low. Mm -hmm. And if I measure now your root chakra, what you said before that you you felt kind of tingling in your feet mm -hmm. that was opening your root chakra mm. and your root chakra is now 95 percent oh wow that's pretty cool <laughs> so this is this is basically how uh, your energy is now is so now. i you know the word intuitive implies a lot of things to a lot of people. So you're an intuitive healer. What would you say that means? How would you explain that to someone? So I, my understanding is, as, uh, and also it is my experience, something what I can, let's say, I cannot, uh, what we were talking before about metals, I would not be able to tell this to the person, oh, you are sensitive to metals. So it came uh, as, an, as an answer, it came on an intuitive level. It was not, uh, let, let's say, through any kind of experience. Like I didn't, I didn't run the test for a person or something like that. It came on an intuitive level and it was, so intuitive part was that she, uh, she also confirmed this. So when you uh, operate from an intuitive level, you said that your energy is kind of interacting with her energy. So do you get an intellectual answer? Do words come into your head? Does a thought come in? Do you get a picture? Um, answer is, answer has to exist. So I have to ask the question. Uh, sorry, uh, answer will will come when I ask the question. So uh, and then I can I don't get visual or or I don't hear anything, but I do feel how the uh, how my body respond to that question. So if it's positive, and sure, the pendulum would would show the uh, the answer. Let's say yes or no, or how many? What is the percentage of? Uh, Let's say if it's 100%, this means that this uh, answer is really uh, accurate. Right. So, but has to, so somebody has to ask uh, the question. Mm. When, uh, when the question is there, uh, I receive the answer. Pendulum is definitely just the tool. It's really great. Um, and, you know, in my mind, I was thinking, it's like when I'm doing a crossword puzzle, and I love that. The question has to be there, and then the answer will surface. So when I'm doing a crossword puzzle, you know, I may get 
two or three letters, and then all of a sudden the answer is there. Yes, yes. Um, exactly. Yes. So uh, at some point you said, you know, you need training. So what is your training? Do you continue to train? When I started with um, my, let's say, this journey as intuitive healer, I didn't know that I was <laughs> intuitive healer. So definitely at some point you need, you need to be aware that you can do this. But in the beginning you cannot do all the things that uh, later you can do and longer you work with the pendulum Th this is this is my tool the pendulum is my tool and longer I worked in my uh, uh, with the tool uh, more training I got it mm. and uh, first when when I started I actually when uh, my feeling was like I'm not sure what what is going to happen. Actually, I were I didn't have any um, confidence. So longer longer you do the work, and you kind of you feel that the answers are much stronger uh, after maybe you know after one year when I <laughs> I asked the questions and I got answers. Uh, you, you could feel that the answers were much stronger and much more accurate. So conf has to be some confidence there. Yeah, I, I can get that. So I'm going to ask you something that we didn't talk about today. Um, so you do something also that's called emotional release. Can you say a little bit about that? So the emotion code is the system that also uh, explain that everybody uh, has some kind of emotional um, tra trapped emotions in in on the, in the energy field. So uh, trapped emotions are uh, maybe there for a long time, as uh, 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 let's say from the childhood, or we can retrap the emotions basically every other day. Another emotion if we feel. Uh, uh, that something happens to us, mm -hmm. which I believe that it's uh, it's not the case. So the, all the emotions that we have in the energy field, emotions are the energy, and they can block uh, um, the energy like any any other, let's say, uh, chemical imbalance or or uh, maybe radiation or something like that. My microwave radiation can block our energy the same way the, uh, that can happen with the emotions. And as I experienced, some people that they would uh, really have like a, uh, a lot of pain in certain areas of their body, uh, we, we could uh, release those emotions and the pain would disappear. So, um, like I said before, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual levels, they should be uh, in a balance that we can have a complete energy, uh, uh, let's say optimal energy in our life. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope this show provided value to you. And if it has raised some questions, I invite you to reach out to Joseph or if you would like to work with Joseph, I invite you to reach out to him. Thank you so much for watching.